Federation of Accountants, past presidents of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. It goes without saying, president and vice president of the Institute and council members. And there are participants from across the globe. We have around 2,000 participants from more than 100 countries of the world who are participating today. And they are all eager to listen to you for quite a number of hours we were being asked questions when this session is, being, is beginning. So that is the kind of enthusiasm that is prevailing to listen to you. Again, thank you for making it for us. Sir, I may ask one question which you may answer from the experiences of your life and we have witnessed it. That positive thinking is not something which can be practiced in response to an event, but it should be a habit or maybe it should be the culture built in a person which would help in every negative situation which may come up as a surprise. So how do you guide the members present here? What kind of positive thinking should be built? What kind of habits or culture a person should build to overcome any negative situation? Of course, planned with firm actions, which goes without saying. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for inviting me uh, to this place. Uh, <laughs> You know, whenever I see a huge gathering of such illustrious people, I, I smile to myself because I never got more than 38 percent marks in my life. <laughs> and I don't know why my positive thinking is telling me that I should, I should stand and talk to these people rather than sit in this chair. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> But you are most welcome to sit down and... <laughs> oh my God, this is... this is nervous. I get nervous when I uh, see such wonderful crowd. So, uh, <laughs> when I... I come from a very poor family. Means when I was born, my father was a clerk in the forest department. And we were 14 people in a small room. And... Uh, my uncle, my aunt, my grandparents, their children. And my father's pay income was 90 rupees per month. But we were very happy. Now there are different adjectives used for poor, you, you have said, lower middle class, upper middle class, upper upper middle class. But at that time it used to be either you are poor or you are rich. There was no this politically correct statements made earlier. But we were very happy. So one day I asked my grandfather, uh, I said, Dadaji, we call grandfather Dadaji, I said, Dadaji, we are very poor, why are we so happy? So he gave a very wonderful answer. He said, when you are very poor, the cheapest luxury available is happiness. Wow. wow. Wow, wow, World Congress of Accountants, 2000. So I think that's where my positive thinking started, sir. That was, we are happy. We did not discover that there is something called better than this. And at a very young age, my father took away the fear of fail failure from my life. People are scared of failure because of the failure you are negative, you are pessimistic. You are not optimistic because you have this fear of failure. But at a very, very young age, I was in ninth standard, my father took away this fear of failure. So I'm sure, before that, I must ask all of you, how many of you have got more than 50% marks? Please raise your hands. I know, sir, I know CAs, 3% make it to the uh, CAs, I know. How many of you more have got 80% marks? 
and still you are in the audience and I am standing on the stage. Arey baba, arey baba, arey baba, arey baba, arey baba, arey baba. That is positive thinking. <laughs> oh my God. I don't want to run down anybody, but I am a sum total of my positive thinking. Whatever I have achieved in the last thirty-eight years, being in films, five hundred and thirty-two movies. That's not only based on talent. That's also based on positive thinking. So, so I was telling you about my father. So I went to my father with my report card. You know, you had to get it signed by your parents. They had to sign it. I'm sure you have done it. Or uh, so my father saw my report card, and he said, "You have come 59th in the class." I said, "Yes, Dad." He said, "How many students are in the class?" I said, "Sixty." <laughs> so he took a pause, and in that pause, I thought he is going to get angry with me. He is not going to talk to me. He is going to say, "What are you doing?" So then he took a pause, and he said, "You know, a person who stands first in his class has always this tension that he has to come first. Even if he is second, he thinks he has been demoted." But a person who comes fifty ninth can always come forty eight, thirty seven, twenty eight, nineteen, eight. So do me a favor. Next time come forty eight. <laughs> And then he added a sentence. He said, "Remember one thing: that failure is an event, never a person." Wow! 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 So for those people who understand Hindi. He was he was part of positive thinking. <laughs> so I think it, it's you're born in an atmosphere where you learn. When you are from a small town, small place, and you are not very good at studies. I was very bad at sports also. One day my PT teacher saw me running, and he said, "Stop it! Even if you run alone, you will come second." <laughs> I have not till today discovered how can I come second if I run alone. So now you know why am I positive? Because family said the cheapest luxury if you are poor is happiness. Father said failure is a event, never a person. And my TVPD teacher said stop running. So I had to prove it to myself. I think positive thinking comes with wanting to dream. That you have dreams, you want to make it, you want to do something in life, and optimism comes also from positive thinking. I do not think anything if I am not optimistic. How can you do anything in life if you are not in an optimistic frame of mind? Uh, I don't know if that answered your question or not. But I wanted to give them a background of my life, where I come from. Even my this hairstyle is a result of positive thinking. <laughs> this is a very dignified, amazing, good-looking baldness. This is very good. But I'm sure all the people who are losing hair. Or have lost hair, they will know that there is a stage which comes in life when you are losing hair from here, some of them from here. And I wanted to be an actor. Oh. When I landed up in this city on the 3rd of June 1981, I was half bald from here. I was half bald from here, and I was so thin that I could see through a keyhole with both my eyes. Oh. And I wanted to be an actor in. India in Bollywood and Hindi film industry, having no hair means you can never become an actor. People used to tell me, why don't you become a, a writer? Why don't you become an assistant? But actor, no. But I was positive that one day I will make it very big, even with this hairstyle. Wow! Wow! It's a very nice answer and. Uh... Absolute answer. Now this is the result of my positive thinking that Sarah has also stood up. <laughs> World Congress of Accountants, <laughs> Mumbai. 
I am one of the leading participant of this session yes, for it. Yes, I need to stand up and bow to the leg at this question. Sir, taking it forward. Yes, yes. When we talk to youngsters, when we talk to colleagues, that you need to be positive, although there are adverse circumstances, think positively and everything will turn around. The question that arises is, is positive thinking alone absolute or it should be backed by what kind of mindset, what kind of actions to make it happen. What we have seen is that when you plan systematically, perhaps some vibrations are created positively and you are able to achieve what you have thought of. So what is the way that once positive thoughts germinate in the mind, when you have dreamt something, you want to achieve it, uh, what is the systematic way in which, because when you think positive, it is not necessary that automatically the circumstances will turn positive. There may be many obstacles which will come in the way. So how that ability to address those obstacles also gets developed, energized, and one achieves the goal that one wants to. Sir, I don't uh, want to say that I'm an authority on how to answer your questions, but when you're asking me this question, it makes me think. I don't prepare my conversations because I do not want to be presumptuous that this is what you will ask and this is how I'll answer. But it is not only alone positive thinking that will make you what you are. It has to be backed by hard work, major hard work. You cannot just say I am positive and my thinking is positive and I am just working, I am not doing anything. It has to be backed by, what is the other alternate? Let's think, what is the other alternate? Positive alternate is negative. What will negative thinking achieve, make you achieve? What will be it make you achieve? My grandfather, because I lived in a joint family, most of my lessons have come from my family. My grandfather used to say, sir, don't go through a problem twice. Once by thinking about it, once by going through it. Wow, wow. So, so, I come, came from a background where, apart from thinking positive, there was no alternate. My father was, as I said, a clerk. He used to leave every morning at 8 o'clock in the morning, walk for about 12 kilometers, work the whole day, come back at 8 o'clock, walk for again 8-12 hours, but without complaining. He did not have the luxury of complaining. Wow, wow. I thought that was also positive thinking. Not complaining is also an end result of being positive. It gives us a sense of importance when we complain. It gives us a sense of importance when we are angry. It gives us a false sense of importance. I have not two word, I have not used two words in the last 33 years consciously. I, sir, never say I am bored or mood nahi hai. Never. Wow, wow. I'll make it easy for you. If I think I've done, I've said something very interesting or very impressive, I'll just scratch my head. That means you have to clap. Let's do a rehearsal. <laughs> no, no, I'm just joking. I was told behind that there are 1,500 people, enthusiastic people listening to you. So, I wanted to basically... So, I feel... Uh, I have totally lost it. Because of the clapping, I lost my... This is what happens with actors. When you call actors, they get... Clapping kills them. I was wanting to tell you that my father, who led a very simplistic line, life, life, but was also positive. My mother, who was looking after 14 people single-handedly, was also positive. My grandfather, who used to teach us Mahabharata, Ramayana, and so was also positive. So I grew up in this atmosphere. My teachers, we were poor. I went to a Hindi medium school. 
I went to my, I learned A, B, C, D in the, in, in fifth standard. When I came to the city uh, on the 3rd of June 1981, I realized that this city does not pay attention to people who can't speak in English. I could read all kinds of English. I was a drama school student. I was a gold medalist from National School of Drama. I knew Chekhov, I knew Arthur Miller, I knew Shakespeare, I knew Tennessee Williams, I knew every Russian literature, Nikolai Ostrovsky, Dostoevsky. But when it came to talking, I discovered that I, I can't talk in English. So I wrote to my uncle, who was the only graduate in our family, and I said, Chacha ji, I realized that people don't take me seriously in Mumbai because I can't speak in English. So he said, the only way to learn a language is to start, choose two hours in a day and start speaking their language. So I decided that between four and six, every day, I will speak in English. All my friends used to run away and say, oh my God, he has come, now we will talk in English. And now I will proudly say that I have done 10 to 12 Hollywood movies based on my optimism, not on my wanting to learn in English. So hard work is very important, sir. But optimism gives you wings to do that hard work. Nicely. Right, very good. Optimism gives you a sense of achievement. It gives you a smile. Torch. It will happen. Yeah. It torch. Father used to say, nah, it will happen, don't worry. When people say it will happen, don't worry, it's optimism. It's not in nothing else. But if I say, oh, I will not work hard, you refer to my first film, sir. Uh, I was 28 and I played a 65 year old man's role. I was not married, obviously, I didn't have children, and I was portraying a man who has lost his only son in America and how he copes with his life, that was the film all about. Everybody told me that, what are you doing? You are you will ruining your career, you are 28 and once you play 65 all your life you will. But I knew that role is great. And also I knew that my stay in this city was not great. In my initial days, I my landlady was a washerwoman. When I first landed here, I stayed in a room where, which was divided by a curtain on one side and the washerwoman and her four children used to stay in that room in the kitchen and four of us used to stay, four students used to stay in this side of the room. On the first day, and when I asked the washerwoman's son, I said, please give me my address, what is this address? And I was in a bad shape. There was not any money. So he gave me my address. And when I read the address, my first address in Mumbai, I smiled and then I laughed. I said, no power can stop me in this city now. My address was Anupam Kher, 2 by 15, Kher Wadi, Kher Nagar, Kher Road, Bandra East. <laughs> There were days, 27 days, I have slept on a railway platform in Bandra East because I had no money. I had no money. Now I'm an educated person. I'm a gold medalist from drama school. I know world literature. I know world cinema. I know what dignity means. I know what lack of dignity means. And to be sleeping on a railway platform on a bench for 27 days, you lose your dignity. You lose everything. Because you have to sleep at 1.20 because that is the last local train which is leaving, which is stopping. And you have to get up at 4.40 because that is the first local train that is starting. In between, sometimes the police guy will come, sometimes the railway guy will come. So I wrote to my grandfather, sir. I said, what kind of a living I am having in the city? I am an educated gold medalist. Why am I living here? I want to leave the city and go back to Shimla or to Delhi or to Lucknow. So he wrote back. Those days we used to exchange letters. He wrote back, he said, my dear grandson, 
you have worked very hard your parents have sold their jewelry their watch etc to make you reach here you have stayed back in mumbai for more than one year stay back and then he said one line i have to say it in hindi i will translate try and translate it in english unne ka beta yaad rakh tu itne din yahan raha hai tune mehnat ki hai tere maa baap ne tere ab tere padhane ke liye apni cheeze bechi hain ruk ja kyunki yaad rakh bhiga hua aadmi बारिश से नहीं डरता wow. <coughs> देखते रहिए राम लक्ष्मण गुड लाइफ अनुपम खेर ऑन बर्ड कांग्रेस ऑफ अकाउंटेंट शो ड्रेंच मैन इज नेवर स्केड ऑफ रेन द मोस्ट पॉजिटिव लाइन ऑन अर्थ भीगा हुआ आदमी बारिश से नहीं डरता सो टुडे आफ्टर फोर्टी इयर्स I am talking to the most amazing organization. I read a lot about you, about my life journey, and what am I saying? It's the result of optimism and hard work. That's what I wanted to say. Continue saying okay. part two Continue on Ram Lakshman's good life.